Hello and welcome to this first in the series of mini videos on the extract question in Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde. Let's get straight in to the uh, extract from chapter one. Well, it was this way, returned Mr Enfield. I was coming home from some place at the end of the world about three o'clock of a black winter morning and my way lay through a part of town where there was literally nothing to be seen but lamps. Well, this allusion to the end of the world is not just a euphemism. Stevenson is signposting the end of a Christian world in which Darwin's theory of evolution disproves the history told by Genesis in the Bible. Ultimately, this ends with a growing disbelief in God. Stevenson himself is an atheist. Should have written was, really, shouldn't I? Let's correct that. This also highlights the main theme of the novella, the hypocrisy of middle class men. Enfield is no different to Hyde. He too has been out at night pursuing his unnamed pleasures. The setting of A Black Winter Morning also acts as pathetic fallacy, not just reflecting Hyde's evil nature, but also Enfield's. OK, well, let's look at my script again, this time with bold font to show you the vocabulary that will be relevant not just to this extract, but to the whole novel every time you write about it. Let's dive in. So an allusion is any reference to another text. And the text that will always be relevant here is the Bible. And even more relevant is Darwin's uh, theory of evolution which comes from the origin of species or um, uh, the descent of man, whichever text you're quoting. Uh, so that allusion word is always relevant. It means a reference to any other text. Uh, a euphemism, you should know, is a set of words that um, make something a bit more palatable, less um, scary sounding. So, for example, we talk about somebody kicking the bucket rather than die, uh, dying. Here, the end of the world is a reference to all the things that, um, that Enfield's been up to that really aren't decent to mention in public. Maybe he's visited a brothel or an opium den, whatever it is, something that he doesn't want to explain to Utterson, but which the euphemism suggests is distasteful and not appropriate for a gentleman. Uh, so you will always be able to use euphemism when you're writing about um, these characters, and especially later when we deal with the potential homosexuality of some of the characters, which would have been seen as distasteful in Victorian times. Uh, you will always be able to mention the fact that Stevenson is an atheist, and that's always relevant to how you interpret this novel, um, because obviously Jekyll is attacking um, the role of God or replacing it by creating a new life himself. Uh, you will always want to mention the main theme, uh, which here is going to be the hypocrisy of middle class men. That's going to be my argument throughout all these um, videos. Uh, that main theme will be relevant, whatever the question. Um, you will always find really descriptive passages and they are usually pathetic fallacy here. You should remember that means where um, nature, usually the weather, but nature and the surroundings reflect the character's feelings. And uh, finally, uh, this is a really short novel, and the correct term for that is novella. Um, so, key vocabulary that you must use every single essay that you write. Good luck, and look out for the next short video.